Well, scientists are warning we're at the beginning of a Parkinson's pandemic with the debilitating disease on track to surpass 12 million cases globally by 2040. But the key to cracking the condition's genetic code could be everyday Aussies with no family history of Parkinson's. Joining me now live is Vicky Miller, the CEO of Shake It Up. Vicky, thank you so much for your time. Why are we on the verge of a Parkinson's pandemic? The cause of Parkinson's is still unknown and we are finding that more and more people are being diagnosed. Uh, we are an ageing population, so with people living longer, there is more incidence of Parkinson's being diagnosed later in age, but also because of the increase in awareness of early onset symptoms, I think more people are being diagnosed at a younger age as well, which is seeing a significant increase in the numbers of people uh, being diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Tell us a bit about the disease for those who aren't familiar. Just how debilitating is Parkinson's? Parkinson's is a, neuro a neurodegenerative disease which is caused by the loss of dopamine cells in the brain. It's a very complex disease with many different symptoms, um, motor symptoms and non-motor symptoms. And many people will have early onset symptoms that they don't recognise as Parkinson's disease. So, for example, a loss of sense of smell is an early indicator of Parkinson's disease, which could happen 15 to, to 17 years prior to a diagnosis. Things like depression can be a, a cause of Parkinson's. So somebody may be living with depression for many years uh, and not realise that that is actually Parkinson's bringing on that depression. Uh, sleep problems are very common for people with Parkinson's, REM sleep disorder. Uh, there's rigidity uh, in movement, uh, difficulties with balance and gait, uh, frozen facial features, uh, gut problems, constipation. There's a big link between the gut and the brain with Parkinson's disease. So as you can see, many, many different symptoms, and it's often challenging to diagnose Parkinson's until there are a multitude of symptoms evident in, in a patient. Before we get on to the research, I want to ask you, do you believe that there's a perception that this is generally an old person's disease? I know that you mentioned just before that a number of young Australians are now being diagnosed. Do you think that there's a perception that if you're young, you just won't get it? Yes, absolutely, and that's definitely not the case. Probably the most high-profile person with Parkinson's from a young onset perspective would be Michael J. Fox from, and he started the Michael J. Fox Foundation. He was diagnosed at the age of 29. We know that 20% of people with Parkinson's will have young onset Parkinson's, which is considered anyone under the age of 50. So as you can imagine, those people are still of working age, would have young families, and, and it really throws a spanner in the works in terms of you know, what their future looks like because no two people will progress at the same rate, so you don't know whether you're going to progress uh, at a fast or a slow degenerative rate with your Parkinson's diagnosis. Let's talk about the research. Why could everyday Aussies be the key to cracking the genetic code? Well, last year we funded um, a genetic study uh, called the Australian Parkinson's Genetic Study out of the QRMR Berghofer Medical Research Institute in Brisbane. It, they're wanting to uh, uh, track the genetic code of 10,000 Australians with Parkinson's. Over the last year, we've recruited 7,500 to that study. And now we're looking to recruit the uh, control group. So a control group is what we use to compare with the other group. So uh, we're looking for 10,000 Australians who don't have Parkinson's, who are over the age of 45 years, and there's no family history of Parkinson's to participate in this research so that scientists can look at the genetic code of a healthy control group against the participants who have Parkinson's. And that total study is contributing to the Global Parkinson's Genetic Study, which is the largest international study ever taking place for people with Parkinson's. That's 150,000 patients around the world, plus a control group for those. So for people who know somebody with Parkinson's, whether you be the spouse or a friend or a, um, a next door neighbor, a work colleague, um, if you would like to do something to help, this is a great opportunity to get on board and be part of cutting edge research. It's very easy to participate. It's an online questionnaire, just asking some general health questions, and then they'll post you out a saliva kiss test kit in the mail uh, and you send that back in a reply paid envelope and you can do that by visiting our website shakeitup.org.au. 
look, it, it's fascinating research. And so it's just simply online, Vicky. That's it. It's an online questionnaire. That's that's the, the, the gist of it. Very simple and easy to participate. And as today is World Parkinson's Day, it's a great day to get involved. Uh, and the whole month of April is Parkinson's Awareness Month and we encourage everyone to get involved in the research, whether you have Parkinson's or you don't, everyone can be involved and also to support Parkinson's research by making a donation to uh, the Shake It Up Australia Foundation so we can continue uh, with this with this great research which is going to lead us to a place where we'll have some treatments that will slow and stop the disease progressing. Yeah, fingers crossed. It really is a debilitating illness. Vicky Miller, great to speak with you. Thanks for joining us. Thanks very much, Danica.